Hi there everyone, tiny one badger here, and today we're going to finish up with the furring part of my fursuit tutorial. Let's go! You can tape up the fursuit head two ways depending on how you made it. You can tape up only one half of it or both sides of it if you think that you didn't make it very symmetrical. When I tape it up, I always make sure to get the entire muzzle and the entire lower jaw because it helps with sewing and it makes it look more even. The way that I get the pattern for my fursuit heads involves duct tape and plastic bags. You can use saran wrap instead, but Walmart bags are plentiful in my household. Once it's totally covered, draw in Sharpie your pattern pieces. I'll have a basic layout of how I do mine in the description, but separate the brow, upper head, ears, back of the head, muzzle, cheek, and lower jaw, drawing what direction the fur will go. Then you just cut all the pieces out with scissors. Obviously draw on any markings you have as well. I am using two types of fur in this tutorial. The red one is cuddle fur and is very short, and the other is black luxury shag and is about two inches. I hope I can show you how to work with both of these furs and where I bought them is in the description. Mark what direction the pile is going in. Make sure the arrows on the pattern line up with this. Remember, fur usually radiates away from the nose. Add about a centimeter or a little less for seam allowance, and if the pattern isn't laying flat, add a dart, which is just a straight cut in the pattern to look like a triangle when laid out. Remember to add seam allowance to this as well. Make sure to write on the fur what side of the pattern it is and what piece it is. A good rule of thumb is if the plastic bag is facing you, it's for the side you taped. If the duct tape is facing you, it's for the opposite side. I also have a diagram of where I usually put darts in the description. When putting a pattern on dark fabric, I use chalk or white pencil. Cut out the fur with a sharp X-Acto knife and keep your pattern pieces for reference when sewing. You don't have to use a sewing machine at all, but I like to use it for ears, darts, and long straight seams, like down the front of the face. I don't use a sewing machine for curved edges, all of those are hand sewn. I'll have a more extensive video on ears later, but that's a triangle of white felt in the middle. I'm currently making a video of all the different stitches I use in my fursuit work, but for now, look up a Henson stitch and a blanket stitch, because you'll be using these the most. All markings are hand sewn to the blanket stitch, so that they're even. Once you've sewn all your pieces together, you can start gluing them to the head. I do a very different method of only sewing together the lower face, upper face, ears, and jaw. I then glue on those pieces separately, sewing them together with a Henson stitch. I use a Henson stitch to connect the muzzle to the bottom of the face. And here's me getting up to go get a carrot. I don't know why I felt the need to keep this in the video. As you can see, I messed up on the jaw pattern, but I sewed the triangle together and cut away the wrinkle. I know this is confusing, but I will seriously make a video on fixing furring mistakes. I totally sew the ears together, then just shimmy them over the foam, sewing the ears to the base for the hints and stitch, and gluing as needed. Make sure you don't get any glue on the outside of the fur, only the backing. With the ears added, you can add the fur for the back of the head. Just use a blanket stitch for half of it, and then hints and stitch when the fabric refuses to let you flip it over anymore. Make sure there are no holes in your head, and if there are, use a hints and stitch to save the day. The inside of the mouse is just a piece of pink felt, but I'll be adding a lip in my next video. I sew it on the wrong way around with a hints and stitch, and then flip it into the mouth. I know I'll keep saying I'll have a better video on this, but I will have a better video on finishing off the mouth that just focuses on the mouth, the teeth, and the tongue. Once the fabric lining for the mouth is done, you can add the lining for the head. Cut two pieces of jersey fabric that is big enough to comfortably go over your head, like a ski mask, and sew the two sides together with hand sewing or a sewing machine. Dab a tiny bit of hot glue on the foam inside the head and stick the lining in. Now, from the outside of the head, cut a round hole for the eyes and sew the eye fabric and the lining together. Because nobody sees this, I just use a blanket stitch. Now just blanket stitch around the mouth, which is hard with a mouth this small, and all around the neck for the fursuit. Stay tuned for the next part when I sew on the neck, glue in the eyes, and finish up the fursuit head. Alrighty, so this is the head that I made in the tutorial. Or at least I furred. It's a little mitten. It's actually, uh, it, it's for sale as of right now while it's being posted. You can check the description for those links. You can see a full video of it in the description as well. And yeah. Also, you can figure out how to make this Pokeball in the description as well. I've got a lot of things in the description if you want to check them out. 